Extra security was in place at local high school basketball games tonight. It follows lockdowns at six Wake County schools today. New tonight, Aaron Thomas spoke with school leaders about the plan to tackle these types of threats and one parent who took her children out of the school system because of them. Aaron? Yeah, Gerald, I'm holding this three page letter that went out to all Wake families on behalf of the superintendent as well as the board chair. They called out these threats saying, quote, this simply cannot continue. Now here at Broughton High School as well as Rollsville High School, there was beefed up security to put more families at ease during tonight's basketball games. But we did catch up with one parent who decided to take her children out of the school system to give her peace of mind. Extra patrols outside and additional police officers inside the latest security measures in place at Broughton High School's basketball game. This is what we all did growing up on Friday nights and now we have to be concerned. Concerned over a series of threats made on social media, prompting lockdowns at several Wake County schools in one day. I definitely would not go back to Wake County if they continue to have this huge amount of threats. Parent Katie Ruby moved her children out of the district after deciding she had enough of what appears to be a recurring theme. Thankful that I can, I can drop my kids off at school and I can feel that they're in a safe environment and that I'm not going to get any of those push alerts. I feel this as a parent. I think, you know, every time a school has a threat, your heart just sinks and you um, worry. Wake Board Chair Lindsay Mahaffey expressing disappointment over the events that played out, stating one threat is too many. So how does one put a stop to them? We've been asking that question since I was a junior in high school when Columbine happened. And so that is the, the will of lawmakers, of, of society, and folks to be able to answer that question. Wake County Sheriff's Office responding to the series of threats in a statement which reads in part, we are working to track down the source of these threats. These incidents must be taken seriously because they instill fear and cause disruption to the normal school day. The investigation continues and those responsible for the threats will face legal consequences. And school leaders pointed to mental health resources on the school district's website for any students or parents uh, uh, having difficulty coping with today's events. Additionally, school safety and security are set to be talking points during next week's work session for the school board. Gerald. Aaron Thomas, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Aaron.